because the purpose wasn't bigger than myself and I was self-centered. Yeah. And it's like, That's if, well if you do it on behalf of something greater than yourself, then that greater thing that you're doing it on behalf of gives back to you. Right. So from a universal standpoint, um, you receive everything in abundance. Right. Just by switching the intention. Intentions are everything. Mm. And I didn't realize the magnitude and power of intent until I've gone through this. And it's like, wow, I can't believe I've been able to break myself down to zero consciously through doing it for a greater purpose let's take a read of that diary i mean it's pretty confronting a lot of people probably people aren't going to be this transparent about themselves and take all the hits you know what i mean it's like i've copped so many l's in my life that me communicating how i used to think about myself is 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 a dub like that, that's a win for me now you know what i mean whereas before i was in a in a pretty dark place and this isn't even the dark place this was me working Coming through out. working through that darkness and yeah. that, that was eight years ago and I still had my battles all the way through. So, yeah, I'm happy to, um, to go through it. So, this is um, 2012. 2012. 7th of the 6th, 2012 is when I first, first wrote this. And this was all off the top of my head. So, this was a self-evaluation, self-assessment, um, me genuinely taking a look at who I was at 22 and just being ruthlessly fucking honest with where I was at. So, yeah, I'm happy to... If you... If you uh brave enough and it's fucking man I, respect no, to you there's no bravery no like, but I've it's let, your soul in there man. man i've let go though i've let go of that shit because there's, there's a new version of myself that's so that's not even you in there that's uh, that's this like is, this old is, I, I can look at this and it's like it's like oh yeah cool but it's like everything that's written down here there's also a polar opposite what and it's mean? like nothing in the world exists without its opposite yeah yin and yang. so it's like all these negatives i gotta be the opposite i've just got to believe it okay so it's like everyone's got it inside them. Everyone's got good. Everyone's got yes. bad. Everyone's got positive. Everyone's yep. got negative. That's that's the whole concept of yin and yang. So if I look at my look at my first thirty years of life as an apprenticeship, I'm ready to serve the world. They say that there's a quote that um, the line between good and evil runs between every human heart. And there's no denial in that. I love that quote so much because like people want to paint a picture like human beings are inherently good or inherently evil. But we to are. Be honest with you, I, I don't even believe in in good and evil. Like I believe in being guided and misguided. Okay. And it's yeah. like, is this is any person in prison a bad person because of what they've done? To me and you, it might be. Yet God forgives. So how I see it is, man judges man, God judges man's heart. So you can't tell me that any person that's done anything bad in their life has a bad heart. Their actions might not show that they're a good person, but there's certain things that, that come to play in there. And nothing's justifiable of bad things or, or what's perceived to be um, bad things or evil things. It's just like somewhere along the way, somewhere along the, the way someone's been misled. Someone's been As misled. As you were. 100%. 100%. And now we have this. Let's go into it. The, the path of being misled. Let's see how we go. Uh, I can only do better when my awareness grows. My perception is influenced by my current awareness. My current situation is, an, is a result of me not being able to accept my current situation. Key to change is accepting others' behaviors without trying to fix them. Mm. Love yourself, understand yourself if you wish to love and accept others. I resist what I want to believe. I may not like the reality of situations, yet I must accept them in the present moment to react the right way. I'm resentful of people who don't live up to my values. Instead of focusing on myself and beating myself, I'm focusing on trying to compete and beat others. Competition is imitation. I copy and compare and seek validation. I do anything for praise, which makes me addicted to approval. Then I blame myself for results I didn't achieve. My problems are a reflection of self-acceptance. I've accepted value systems from others instead of my own guilt and unworthiness i blame and i complain i put others down i find fault in others the faults i don't like in myself i point out and point out in others i accept advice and opinions from people who are not even qualified to do so no one can hurt you or make you angry if you are self-reliant and do not lean on others i do things for attention and not for self-growth or development toward my destiny i seek other people's approval inability to forgive scared to make mistakes, issues with uncertainty, dedication, looking at women as objects, judging myself, judging people, always seeking approval, totally dependent on others, 
bravery is the opposite of conformity. I do not understand my machine, body, mind and soul. I feel like a bird locked in a cage. I am vain and rely on materials to make me feel good. I am not patient. I am dependent on others. I am not self-reliant. I accept God. I expect God to do for me what I am too lazy to do for myself. I am influenced by exterior beliefs instead of internal knowing. I look up to others as superiors. I allow others to be responsible for my happiness. I blame others when they don't live up to my standards. I am irrational. I don't challenge my beliefs. I'm immature. I'm unrealistic. I'm pessimistic. Always wanting to be right. I don't understand my intuition. I don't love myself. I don't listen to others. And if I do, I believe everything they say. I'm unorganized. I'm a glutton. I'm greedy. I'm a spendthrift. Inability to save money. I don't trust people. I pretend I'm living my dream instead of taking the steps to live it. Being constructed of my past instead of reconstructing myself and my future. Interior destruction, exterior influence. Constantly seeking or asking for advice from the wrong people. Lying to myself to protect my beliefs. I build walls to not allow truth in. Always think I have the answers. Not understanding roots of my problems. My wishful thinking distorts my reality. I reject others' truths because of my current level of education. I make excuses. I do not believe in myself. I reject truth that go against my own beliefs. So that's uh, that's what I wrote to myself in when when was it? what did I say? 2012. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's eight years ago. So it's like I was on the path of development at 22, but I had no idea what the fuck I was doing, and that's me be, being completely honest. So it's like that's self-reflection at 22. Now, if you have a look at most 22-year-olds, they're still partying and drinking. Mm. Like, I grew up real fast. I grew up real fast.